On today's video, I want to share with you five features of Excel that I think can make your life a little bit easier and hopefully save you some time. So the first one we'll look at is how to convert text into columns, and we'll see how this is useful here in a second. So let's say we have this table here in Snowflake. You can get it in a CSV format, and this could be from any other source. It doesn't have to be Snowflake. And the idea here is we want to take this and do some further analysis in Excel and outside of the, the tool we're in. And so if we open up Excel and we paste this in here, we can see each row has the full data, which isn't very helpful for us. So how can we split this up into something that looks like a table and then do some more work with it? We'll click on this first column. And if you go to the data tab up here, there's an option for text to columns. And if we select this, it's going to give you some options. We see delimited or fixed width. Fixed width would be if every single column had the same amount of characters. We don't have that in this case. And we have delimited. In our case, it's delimited by comma. So we'll click this. But if it was by a tab or a semicolon or anything else, you could select that here. You'd have a text qualifier. But in our case, like we said, it's a comma. And we can see right away, it's picking up the different columns right here for us. So let's select next. We can do some other formatting here. We won't worry about that here. And let's just click finish. So now we can see it moved each of these into its own column. It's, it broke it up. Now let's do the same for all of these. I could have done it all together. And we can see we can do delimited comma. And again, we can see it's breaking it up. Let's just go right to finish. And now right away, we have everything in a tabular format, easy for us to use as opposed to being in commas. The next one we'll take a look at is how to paste as transpose, which is going to essentially flip it from maybe being a horizontal type of uh, look to a vertical. And this is really helpful for comparing things. Maybe if you have a ton of columns that you don't want to have to scroll all the way to the right, you can transpose it have it vertical and see it all together. So let's see how this works. So let's just stick with this same example. Let's say we have all of these and we can see we have to scroll to the right to see everything. And imagine if we had twice as many or five times as many columns. The way we can do this here is, let's say we're copying all of this. And if we go to a new tab, right click, paste special, and this may look a little bit different on Windows, but what we wanna do is transpose. And by clicking this, it's going to put it vertically for us. So now we don't have to scroll. We could see it all right here. Now, again, let's take all of this data here, copy and paste special, transpose. And now we have it here in this order. So it would be up to you if you know this makes more sense to you. This Sometimes it, it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I do find that a lot of times we want to look more vertically than horizontally for certain comparison, certain data. So this is just another feature in Excel to help you when working with your data. So the next one is talking about freezing columns or rows. And this is again, really helpful if you have a lot of data in Excel, but as you're scrolling away, you lose maybe what you're looking at, or if you're going all the way down, you miss out on the first line. You don't, you can no longer see it. Let's look at this one. That's probably a better example. And so the way that we can do this is if we go up here to the view tab, and over here, we can see freeze top row or freeze first column. So it depends on what you want. So in this case, let's say we want to freeze the first column because again, right now, if we're scrolling, we don't see what it is. We could do freeze first column. We can see it's indicating this line here. But now as we scroll, that stays put for us, which is really nice because again, imagine if you have a really wide table, you can still see that first column. Now let's say instead we want to freeze the top row instead of the first column, we want the top row. We can click this and we can see as we're scrolling down, that stays put. And so that that's a nice feature. Again, if you have a really tall table, meaning there's a lot of records. So that's something you may have already known about, but just a little feature to help you uh, work better with your data in Excel. So the next one we'll look at is conditional formatting, which again, may be something you already know, but I wanna to touch on it here. Let's get rid of some of these records. Let's say we have a scenario where we're trying to compare different records. We want to see if these two records are identical and very quickly be able to see whether or not that's true. We could write a quick formula here. We'll say this equals this, and it'll say false because it's not. But if it's the same, it'll say true because they equal each other. So, so we'll just run this down here and we're getting a list. But let's say we want to quickly be able to see whether or not something is false just from a quick view of it. We don't want to have to read them. I will say there's a lot of different ways you can do this. This is just one simple example. So if we highlight this and click on the home ribbon, right here we have conditional formatting. And there are a lot of different options you can do here. I won't cover all of them, but one of the most common ones I find I use is 
highlighting where it equals a value, or maybe it's greater than or less than, depending on your data set. But in this case, I'm trying to see whether or not something is true or false. We can say if something is equal to, so we can indicate what we are uh, looking at here, maybe errors or blanks. But in this case, let's say if the text contains false, give it this format and you can pick from other options. Maybe you want it to be green, uh, but we want to see which ones are false very quickly. So let's, let's do that. And right away, it will conditionally change the format based on if it's true or false. So now we can very quickly see exactly what this looks like. But another nice feature is if we want to, let's say, create a filter on this, we can sort by color. Now we can sort it this way and see them all at the top. All right, so the last one we'll look at is removing duplicates. And I think that's a pretty self-explanatory reason. You know, you have a lot of records and you just want to see the individual results. It's kind of like a select distinct if you're used to SQL. Let's say we want to see the distinct records of gender and year. Again, this is just an example data set. We can do it either one row at a time or we can do them both together. If we do one, it's just going to get uh, the distinct value within this list and not take this into consideration. So let's just start there. Let's, let's highlight this. And the way we can do this is data and remove duplicates right here. And if we select this, you can expand the selection or just continue with the current ones because it's recognizing it's kind of in a set here. But let's just do this, continue with the current column A, and we can see eight duplicate values were found and removed, two unique ones remain. So now we just see these two. And we could have done the same thing here and got the uh, unique values. But let's uh, remove this. And let's go ahead now and do this for the whole set. So we want to see distinct for both columns. And if we select OK, we can see these are the unique values. Male and female for 63, just a male for 64, and there were no females, and then uh, both for 65. And very quickly now we can see the unique values in this particular data set. We all know there's a lot more you can do with Excel. And you're probably going to be doing a lot more complicated stuff in the other tools. So hopefully you're able to pick up maybe one or two new features of Excel that you can use to make your day to day a little bit easier. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you at the next one.